Hello, wonderful listeners! Julietta here, and we have chapter Lucky 13 today. And um, in chapter 12, we heard a little bit about the ice giant's sad story, and Elika started to feel a little sorry for her. So let's continue with chapter 13 of The Ice Giant. The ice giant was staring sadly at the shell in her hands. Elika wondered how she could cheer the giant up. Did you make the moon and star ceiling? Elika said. The ceiling of the cave was covered in constellations. No, the giant said. My ancestors made that. She put the conch shell down and sniffed heavily. Then she came nearer to Elika. So, the giant said and smiled, enough about me. What about you? What about me, Elika said. Are you an other? The giant asked. Elika had no idea what the ice giant meant and said so. Your eyes, the giant said. I have met humans with brown eyes, blue eyes, and yes, sometimes green, though not yellow green like yours. Some humans even have such light, clear blue eyes like us ice people. But your eyes, I have never seen eyes like that. So I think you might have other blood. Was one of your ancestors other? Elika didn't know what to say. She didn't know what others were, but she didn't like the sound of them. They sounded weird. I'm just human, Elika said. All my ancestors are human. Hmm, the giant said as if she didn't believe Elika. You could also hear me in your dream. Well, Elika said, Aunt Caroline heard her giant in her dream too. You know another giant? The ice giant said. Ice, like me? He's not ice, Elika said, though he lives in the cold, high in the mountains in the snow. I want to meet him, the ice giant said. I have not seen another giant in a long time. Oh, he's far away though, Elika said, the Himalayas. The ice giant looked off into the distance with a faraway expression. Yes, I have heard of those mountains, she said. Old, old places and giants lived there long ago. Though we do not use the term giants, we call them people of the yak. It's in our story. Your story? Elika asked, wondering what she meant. Come with me, the giant said. She crawled into a low tunnel of ice that led out of the large chamber. Curious, Elika followed. They entered another big room and she gasped. There was an enormous wall of ice in front of her. It was covered with writing that looked like hieroglyphics. The symbols were deep in the ice. Is this chiseled in? Elika asked. She felt the wall, but it was smooth. She couldn't feel any impressions or chisel marks. No, it's the old way of ice writing, the ice giant said. We ice people don't know how our ancestors wrote it. We can only read it in the light, never in the winter. It's deep in the wall. Wow, Elika said. She took her phone out of her pocket and snapped a picture. See, my husband's name is also in ice writing, the ice giant said and showed Elika her leg. A series of symbols were visible deep in the giant's leg. We ice people use ice writing when we make a promise, the giant explained, like when I married my husband. But we do not know how to use ice writing outside our own bodies, like on this wall before us. That has been lost to the ice people. Wow, Elika said. She placed her forehead on the smooth ice wall and watched sunlight play on the symbols within it. It's our story, the ice giant said, the story of the ice people. We also sing it to remember. Aunt Caroline would love this, Elika said. Her forehead was numb with cold from pressing it to the ice. 
the ice giant scowled. I will not show it to her, she said. Oh, I didn't like her either at first, Elika said, but Aunt Caroline's okay once you get to know her. The ice giant clenched her fist. I don't like humans, she said, except for you. She gave Elika a brilliant smile that reflected the light. Oh, Elika said, thanks, I think. We'll be best friends, the ice giant said. You can live in another small part of the cave. I will show you. It is more rock than ice. It will be warmer. Elika shuddered. Nervousness and cold returned to her and chilled her. She just had to find a way to escape the cave. She didn't know what Aunt Caroline's plan was, but she couldn't rely on it. Hours had passed and there was no sign of her aunt. Elika liked to think Aunt Caroline was coming back. She had promised, after all. But even if she came back, when would it be? If Elika didn't get off the glacier soon, she would freeze for sure. All right, well, I'll see you in the next video for chapter 14. Bye.